many people in the North Country, this excavator perched on the corner of Lake Flower is a sight for sore eyes. It gets people excited. I mean, people beep when they're here, you know, lo loading it onto the site, and it's just everybody loves it. People love it because it takes the ice from the lake and helps Saranac Lake turn into a winter wonderland. It's something you can't see practically anywhere else. Each year, the carnival boasts an impressive ice castle, drawing people from all over into the tiny town for an annual dose of winter fun. We're kind of doing our own thing, and I think that's why so many people come out to see it. Colleen O'Neill, who's on the Winter Carnival Committee, says the castle is one of her favorite attractions. It's amazing what they can do in a short period of time. By this time next week, officials say the ice from Lake Flower will be cut, cubed, and put right over here where the ice castle will be built. And officials say you can definitely expect it to fit into this year's theme. The ice palace builders will, um, whether it be the architecture of the palace, they'll put that with the theme. And with the 2016 Winter Carnival's theme of superheroes and villains, O'Neill says people can expect to see new events, including a slight twist on a Winter Carnival classic. The little ladies fry pants toss is what you think it is. It's for little, little girls. And basically it's tossing a fry pan as far as you can and and whoever tosses it the furthest wins. <laughs> and while O'Neill and many others are looking forward to the kickoff early next month, she says she can't wait to break the ice on this year's castle creation. In Saranac Lake, Liz Strepa, WPTZ News Channel 5.